Hey, welcome back you guys. We have another gear review this week for you. This is the Danchel Outdoors awning. It's eight by eight or eight by nine. I'll put the link in the description and on the screen. It's from Amazon. We bought it with our own money. Uh, so we had the awning, the Slim Shady that came with the camper, which was just the awning. We never had a room, so we wanted a room. We were looking at the 270 awnings, but they're a good bit more expensive. And we just weren't going to do that this year because we just got our new canoe earlier in the year and stuff like that. We decided to check this one out. We got the longer one. Like I said, I think it's 8x8 or 8x9. It's very similar to this Slim Shady awning, except you can get the, uh, the room with it, and the room is awesome. You probably need two people to put it up. It could be done with one, but it's a little tricky. But the room is great. It's got screens, two windows on each side with screens, and regular shades. You can open the, those up or put them down. The door has a screen, which we'll show you. And then the back wall is a big zip, no screen. So the part that goes against the camper. So what you can do is trace, and we're gonna do this, trace the outline of the teardrop door and then find somebody to sew in either some magnets or Velcro strip. So then it'll be sealed against the camper. So what that will do is when you close up the door, close down the windows, it'll be like a sealed up room. It should stay warmer in the winter. And we're not, it does have a floor that you can put in there that you clip in, a black, like tarp material, pretty thick. But we're just using one of the type outdoor rug floors that you get from, we got ours at the hardware store, and that's worked great. And it's really good for changing, just hanging out. You know, if you're a teardrop owner, you need some little bit of extra room for some privacy and to do some basic stuff because the teardrops, square drops, tiny campers are just beds basically. It has come in handy, we really do like it, and we wanted to share it with you guys. I think it's around 400 bucks on Amazon, depends, they have sales. And that's for the awning and the room. Bolts up to the roof rack of your tag if it came with it, just like the Slim Shady that comes with most of the tags. Ours is a 2020 New Camp tag, so yours might be a little different, but I would recommend it. It's a good screen room material. It's not super difficult to put up. We'll show you. There's a little piping track, I don't know what it's called, feeds into the back, and then this side, this side here, it zips into place, this side. And then on the sides of it are Velcro that go around the poles of the awning. And then it Velcros along here. And you can stake it out as well. Floor has, it's not clips, it zips in. We haven't used the floor yet, but and we may never, but we have it if we need to. We'll show you some close-ups of it. It has tie-outs for the awning, or for the poles, you know, for wind and stuff like that. You can roll up the, the windows and tie those out. Like, basically like most awnings, the awning room itself has its own roof so you end up with the regular awning and then once you put the room in it has its own roof so you have a double layer on top in the rain it's held up pretty good where there was no water in the rain we've been in a couple of storms uh at u camp the u camp event in iowa i think it was iowa or michigan where we had it and it was a pretty heavy storm but it held up really good so let's check it out so this is our outdoor awning that we love to have up when especially if you're going to need somewhere to sit somewhere to change because you know in the camper it's very tight and kind of confined so you can have your little pop-up shower toilet tent we've used that but this gives us a lot more area that we can actually set up like a little living room um the plan is we're going to actually kind of cut out our door we actually we'll rolled up the back side so that whole thing zips. This whole zips. We've actually unzipped it. We've actually done like an outline of our door that we're gonna cut out and then we're gonna put a little piece with some either Velcro or some magnetic um, fastening that we can actually have a little better seal, especially when you have mosquitoes. Got the little clips here. Just clip it in. And then just clip it up. So like I said, when you don't have it actually sealed, there is open spots so you can get mosquitoes and some bugs in. But well, the main thing is it's not bad. It gives us shelter from the wind. It gives us shelter from if it's raining and it gives us a nice seated area that we can actually sit privacy so we set up our chairs we've got our little footstool we've got our fridge in here our table with our cooking station and we even found like a 50 dollars mat i think it was at menards 
um, instead of buying and doing like the inline zip in flooring, this was actually was a really nice alternative and it was very inexpensive and you can wash it and it's meant for outside. So I actually, I really, really like it. It's been a game changer with just being able to, you're not confined to a lot that we don't love our camper. We're actually not confined to being in there. We're actually able to be out here in bad weather and stuff. Bad weather, still in a nice little cozy area, still have the windows open with the screens and still kind of enjoy the outside. Both windows on each side have the covers or just open it for screen. So there is the screen. You've got the other part that, that kind of comes over that zips down. There's always a little opening there at the bottom. You've actually got, there's a piece here that actually goes into the track. This is what actually slides in first. This will slide in and then you're gonna extend these poles and hook them into the top section right here. There's a little spot for those to get hooked in. And then you'll bring over your tent. And as you can see, there's another zipper section here that actually you have to kind of shorten, fasten these, shorten your poles a little bit and then zipper this closed so you can actually set up the full tent and then you can stake it down. And then you've got all your ties that you can actually help to fasten it here. And then you can move your bars out, move them out a little bit, lower one side if you want to have some uh, drip off, if you're going to expect rain and stuff. So it actually, I think, probably took us maybe 10 or 15 minutes to actually get it up. That's it, guys. Great addition for a teardrop, tiny camper, owner, square drop, nice awning room. Danchel Outdoors. Check it out. I'll put the links in the description. Give us a like, subscribe if you got anything out of this video, and we will see you next time.